All right, guys, today I'm going to show you all how to do a perfect print and cut with Silhouette Cameo uh, 4 Plus. And then I'm also going to show you at the same time how to do a front facing adhesive sticker where the adhesive is on the same side as the actual image so that you could put it on the back side of a window and face out. I'm going to go to Silhouette Studio. Let's see, I'm going to open up one that I already have just to show y'all. Let me see here. Which one do I want to do? I'm going to do these here. And since uh, I'm going to do these front facing, I'm going to have to mirror the image. So go ahead and select all. I'm new to all this software, so I might not do it the same way as everyone else. All right, so I'm going to check my cut lines real quick. Let me zoom in here and double check where these cut lines are. All right, they're inside. Yeah, yeah, they're exactly where I want them to be, inside the black line. So that when you cut it, there's not going to be any black line. Be right above that lightning bolt. All right, perfect. So I'm going to print this. It's in between my registration marks. And I think I have the registration marks. Let me check. I should have them as thick as they'll go to one millimeter thick. Yep, I don't change anything else. I'm going to print this. I don't have the proper ink in there just yet. So, or uh, paper, the proper paper. So let me go in there. Get ready, make sure I have it on my, uh, my Epson. My settings. Alright. Okay. This is what I'm using. Paper plan, clear sticker paper, suitable for inkjet printers 20 sheets transparent weatherproof honestly I've been very impressed with this paper I ordered a couple packs of it okay guys so I've got my first sheet printed out here it has res registration marks and all my images in reverse okay so Here's the thing that no one is going to tell you or that I never learned on um, on YouTube. I had to figure it out on my own. I think I did hear Derek mention something slightly about it one day, but didn't fully explain it, I don't think. Here's the thing. All of my stickers that I first made were curling up, and I thought I was using good materials, and I didn't understand why. Was getting really upset because they're all curling on the edges it was actually so bad they would come right off the backing paper after they've been sitting for days maybe like a week so this has to fully dry for like eight hours or more um my experience is whether it's normal inkjet um or they also say with eco solvent and i'm using eco solvent it happened to me with inkjet Ever since I had eco solvent, I've been letting it dry for at least eight hours or more. If you want to make sure that it's really good, I recommend drying it for at least 24 hours before you laminate or cut it. Um, I'm still figuring this out on my own, so I don't know if it matters if you laminate it, but I would obviously think if it's off gassing, you don't want to laminate it until it's fully cured. So I'm going to let this one cure. Um, you know what no i'm not i'm going to rush the process so i can show you but ideally you're going to want to let this cure okay um but anyway so here's the thing reverse facing or front facing stickers that are going to face out the window you need it printed on the adhesive side so it's not really printed on the adhesive side but these are clear so the image is facing the other way and then when i, I i'm not going to actually laminate it with clear um with clear I'm gonna it's already printed on clear I'm gonna laminate it with some Oracle 651 white just regular white 
and I'm going to trim out where the registration marks go. Some people tape it off and cut it off afterwards. I don't know why. I just trim it off before. And then um, when we do that, then we're going to cut it. And then it's going to be perfect. It's going to have a white backing on it. It's going to be a clear sticker with a white backing. It's going to stick on the window and you're going to be able to see it from the other side perfectly. I was worried about the adhesive because this paper isn't 100% transparent. It's a little bit milky. But with the image printed on there, it looks great. I haven't had any issues with it so far. So um, let me go ahead and show you how I do that. Okay, there's my sheet. roughly where they're at. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna pull back just a little bit and get it started. Two inches roughly, I would say. And line up the bottom. Lay down the front where I want it. Or the top. I do this part with my fingers usually. I just feel like I have more control over it. It's not perfect, but it's within the margin where the registration marks are. Now I'm going to put it in the laminator. Pull the backing up and just roll it on through. I don't know why. I always like to do it one extra time just to make sure everything's good. Take the pressure off of this because you're not supposed to leave it on there. It'll mess up your rollers and I forgot to do that. I left it down all day. Alright, so there is a white laminated sheet and uh, registration marks. I get just over the line to cover the line so you don't actually see the line. Cover the line on the top, cover the line on the side. Try to get it as square as you can. guys so here's the thing that I've noticed about the cameo 4 plus I'm new to this I've only had it for I think less than a week now but it seems to work great but it is a little bit finicky I guess with any machine like this um, first of all the trick that I've noticed is that this needs to be pulled out at least to right there to support the actual cutting mat when you're loading it in if you don't have this in there when you first uh, 
I mean, loading it in is fine. You don't need it for that. But in order to get it registered, you do. So I put my own little lines because my eyes aren't great. And I'm trying to see where clear is. And it's hard to see the clear line. So I'm going to press this while I'm holding the camera. Press the load button. And um, I try to get the edge here lined up perfectly with that line right there on the other side of the arrows to the right of the arrows and then I make sure that the other side of the mat basically I drew a line from the outside edge of this roller where it steps down out and that's where it should line up that's this is the only place that it actually grabs it on here I have a larger cutter over here the big three foot one and it has several places where it grabs it or three places so I thought at first that it was grabbing it here and here on the pinch roller, but it's not. It's only grabbing it right here on this very small part of it, the thin part, and then right there on that thin part. And that's it. So if you don't have it lined up just right in there, it's not going to out right. And then you got to have this out to support it. And then when you go ahead and press send, over here. It's going to start to register it. It's going to get perfectly in that square right there. And then it's going to move it forward. You lift this up, push in the tray. Okay, I look at where it hits the registration marks. There should be about a quarter inch. Basically, it comes down here. You can see a quarter inch of the line to this side. And then it comes over here and you should see a quarter inch of the line to this side. And the same thing on the top one. And then you watch it cut the first line. And if you can't see it good, use a flashlight because I can't see it. I can't see it. My eyes are bad and this is white. It's cutting it perfectly. It's cutting it perfectly. So also guys, let me tell you about this so you don't have to try to figure it out on your own. Okay, so I've got a thick layer of clear laminate, or sorry, clear vinyl that it's thick and uh, printing on. I mean, it's, it's pretty thick compared to paper. And then there's a sheet of vinyl on top of that. So it is a laminated sticker in essence. And so what settings am I using for that? Let me show you over here. So I've got my own setting that I made for laminated stickers, my own preset. And I've got it at a blade depth of three. I'm doing two passes. At a force of 22, a speed of five. Hey guys, I'm sorry. Okay, so I printed these like laminated ones and that's fine. But I also have a setting for die cut honestly when I first started doing this I thought that I had it set for die cut so let me go ahead and show you so with this it's gonna it's not gonna cut through the backing so that uh, basically all these all one two three four five six eight stickers are gonna be all on one sheet together it's not gonna cut them out and punch them out if I put it on die cut these are my settings for die cut and it works great blade depth of five I do three passes. I have a force of 33, which is maximum on this machine. And then I have a speed of four. So if you want it to cut them all out individually and to be and, and be little uh, rectangle shapes, then um, use that setting. Blade depth of five, three passes, force of 33, speed of four, because I've been kind of going, looking at some of the other settings that I uh, already preset in there. And it seems like the thicker it goes, the slower you need to go. But um, if you want to do laminated, the laminated setting I have, like I said, it's going to leave it all on one sheet. It's not going to punch it all the way out. It's blade depth of three, two passes, a force of 22, and a speed of five. All right, so I'm going to unload this from the machine. 
and let's see how it separates if this actually works well so it's hard to let me set the camera down actually for this okay so i always try to uh you know what this actually didn't oh i forgot hang on it's not die cut it's not die cut it's not supposed to pull all the way out i'm not supposed to punch out i'm supposed to just pull the top layer off And it's working. Start pulling that one up. You just gotta hold hold down the corners <clears throat> while you peel it, just to make sure it doesn't start to lift it off. There you go. So pull that off. Now they're all on one seat, <clears throat> but without the membrane or the i don't know what you call it the uh the outside part and so white on the back when i pull it off i can stick these on a window now the sticky side has the print on it there you go that's how you do it so perfect print and cut and how to do front facing adhesive stickers all right thanks for watching guys please like share subscribe help me to grow this channel and i'll teach y'all how to do more things i'll share you share all the knowledge share all the secrets that i know and um just so one other thing i left out i didn't tell you i showed you what paper i'm using but i didn't show you what laminate um so I've got two that I'm using. I'm going to just go ahead and tell y'all all my secrets, okay? So Oracle um, OraGuard 200 is good stuff. I've used some of that. I have some right here. It has this um, grid on it. Laminated Film 200. It's OraGuard is what they call the laminate, okay? This is good stuff. I like it, but... I went ahead and gave something else a shot. Um, secret sauce, guys, I guess, you know, but I really like the Substance Incorporated. These guys, um, this is this is what I'm using right now for my laminate. And uh, I have it on this roll that I got. I'm, I'm trying it out. I got 150 feet of it. I've already cut probably, I don't know. 75 to 100 sheets off of this roll just to test them out and I, I love it i'm cutting them down on here into um you know 11 by eight and a half sheets so that i can laminate these stickers with it and that's working out great um these guys are cool they sent me a sample a, a 30 inch roll sample here of some paper to try out and then i purchased this stuff myself they uh, sent me a sample they were gonna send me a sample. I went ahead and purchased some stuff and then they threw in a sample with it in the catalog so that I could try out some other stuff. Um, but this paper seems great. I love it. I love the way it feels. It's awesome, but it doesn't work in my printer. I'm using these really cheap printers and I'm trying to just make something work. And it doesn't work in either one of these printers. Um, it, it just, the ink doesn't dry quick enough it doesn't seem to absorb in and dry quick enough and so it's just not what i need right now when i get an actual real ecosolve printer like a roland bn20 or maybe a hp latex printer or something like that it might be a great paper to use but right now it's not the right stuff so i'm going to continue to use their laminate but right now i've got to use the pre-cut sheets that are specifically made for inkjet printers i think there's something different about it that helps the ink dry quicker um, since there's not a drying mechanism inside that printer so anyways guys that's how i do it um if you have any questions about anything that i did just hit me up let me know um if you need any stickers mikestickers.com for uh you know all your sticker needs i'm new at this but i'm trying to make the highest quality stickers i can these things are awesome guys with the material that i'm using they're awesome i've water tested some of them they seem to be holding up great right now 
and um, no issue so far ever since I've been letting the, the ink dry, cure, off gas, whatever you want to call it, for at least eight hours, then it turns out great. So hit me up if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to share any of the knowledge I have about the Cameo 3, any of my manual cutters, the Vivor 36 inch, my heat press, 3D printer, any of my printing stuff or cutting stuff, let me know. Um, that little, that little cheap, this was a $140 laminator. It's turned out to be awesome so far. I love it. Um, and I know my setup is kind of ghetto with my homemade table and paper dispenser, but I'm working with what I got right now. And uh, it's all about trying to make something. So, all right, guys. Thank you.